Hello, everybody. It is two o'clock, which means that it's time for another Exos Recharge. Thank you for coming today. Hopefully, uh, you guys are having a great day. The weather's a little weird outside, but you know, you got to deal with what you got to deal with. So, if that's all we have that's going on right now, that's fine. So, starting our day off while we wait for others to join in, we're going to go to our board. So, our snack today can be a breakfast type snack. It can just be a good little protein snack. We're doing mini ham and egg quiches. So basically a muffin tin is all you need and you can do it all different kinds of ways. I just put some of the basic ingredients on here, which is egg, milk, salt, possibly like garlic and onion powder, some pepper, some ham or bacon and cheese. And basically, you can throw that into a muffin pan. You can use a crust if you would like. You can use like the bacon as the crust if you would like. And basically, you uh, cook it until it's nice and done. And you got these little muffin size quiches that are a good little to go snack. They're good for going out hiking as long as you keep them cold or just out and about. Um, just high in protein, nice and tasty. And you know, my kids love eggs, so, and that's why we've done boiled eggs in the past, and now we're doing something again with eggs, so just a fun little way to have a little snack, and then our joke for today, when does a joke become a dad joke, and I drew a little self-portrait there, because that's what I look like if I put glasses, on. Uh, stick around to the end, and you will get the answer. So let's go ahead and get rolling with our deep breaths. So let's put our hand on our chest, one on our belly. Remember, we're going to fill entire space up with air. Six seconds in, four second pause, and explosive on the way out. Okay, so here we go. Nice deep breath in for one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold for one, two, three, four, and push it out. Good, in for one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold for one, two, three, four, and let it out. Good, one more, in for one, two, three, four, five, six. Hold for one, two, three, four, and push it out. Nice. All right. So getting started today, uh, just so you know, we will need some sort of a slider. So if your feet don't slide on your floor, you know, if you need a towel or something like that to put your feet on, we're going to do some body saws today. We're up in the ante. We all know that we're progressing as we go. That's what these are all about. So make sure that you have something to slide on. And if you don't, I'll show you a way to do it without also. Okay. Uh, so starting out, we're going to get down into our bretzel strips. So doing a little T-spine rotation with some quad stretch also. So our bottom leg is going to go through and underneath. Our top leg is coming out in front into our 90-90 position like so. Our top hand grabs our bottom foot. So you're already in that kind of what they call a pretzel or why this move's called bretzel. And then my bottom hand is going to hold my knee to the floor. Taking a deep breath in through my nose. And then I'm going to push it out. And I'm going to try to rotate my shoulder to the back of the room as low as I can. Trying to twist myself in half. And then I'm going to take another deep breath in. And try to go a little further. Again, this is good for our T-spine, that bottom leg. You should be feeling a little bit of a quad stretch. That's why you're pulling that foot back. And then let's go ahead and release. We'll go one more, taking it back, and then two breaths in that hold. So deep breath in and go. Push it out. Get that good stretch. When you're ready, take a deep breath in and let it out and let that stretch get a little deeper. All right, switching sides. Okay, so same setup. Bottom leg feeds 
underneath towards the back, top hand grabs, front leg and bottom hand. Okay, deep breath, let it out. And this side's a lot tighter on me. If you have a tighter side, don't get frustrated. Don't force yourself into a bad position. Don't force into the stretch, just let it happen naturally. Couple of deep breaths. And come back. Remember, you can only do what you can do. We get better by repeating and getting better, right? So here we go, deep breath in, let it out. Just like my hamstrings are not stretchy, but if I keep working on them, they'll get better. If I force them, they'll snap, and that's not fun. All right, this next one we can do two ways. You can do it on the floor, or I'm going to sit up against the wall today just so you guys can see kind of how my arms work. I kind of slide the right way. It's mirrored. Okay, so if you're laying on the floor, you're in the same position. Get your back nice and flat to the floor. Pretend the wall is my floor. Okay, I'm going to reach straight towards you. If you're laying on the floor, you're going to reach straight up towards the sky. If you're using a wall like I am, you're fine to do it just like this. Okay, we're going to drive my elbows to the wall or to the floor, depending on what you're doing. And I'm going to rotate my hands up like so. And I'm going to try to keep my forearms and my hands attached to the wall as I slide up overhead. Don't let my back arch reach up and then sliding then back down. Same rule applies. Keep them attached to the wall. I'm trying to drive my elbows down as far as I can. Rotate and reach straight forward. Okay, let's go one more time. This one's opening up our shoulders, releasing our chest, rotate those hands, sliding up. And then bringing it back, back down. This one will make you sweat a little bit if you're doing it right, because it's not easy. It's putting our bodies into some tight little positions. Rotate and press. The reason we're doing that is we got a lot of plank stuff, a lot of push-up stuff today. So we're going to be using our shoulders. We want to make sure that we're nice and active. All right, last one. We're going to go into our glute bridge position. Okay, so our normal glute bridge position, get those heels dug into the floor, nice and close to your glutes. We're gonna drive our hips towards the sky. We have five of these. We're gonna take our time with them, driving up nice and high, create that nice strong glute bridge. Then we're letting ourselves down for three, two, one, tap the floor, drive right back up. Okay, for all these reps, we're just gonna tap the floor after one and then drive back up nice and high and hold until I start counting down again. Here we go down, three, two, one, tap that floor, drive right back up. Down for three, two, one, back up. Make sure that you're keeping everything nice and tight, keeping that glute bridge strong, trying to run both of your hips down at the same time. Don't kind of get lopsided. Try to keep yourself nice and straight. Down, three, two, one, back up. We got one more. Lock everything in nice and tight. When you're up, think about squeezing as tight as you can. Make everything active. And then we're gonna go down three, two, one, and relax. All right, up on our feet. Now the fun part starts, okay? So like always here recently, we're gonna use a little bit of a neural activation to get our heart rate up, get our blood flow going. So here's what we're gonna do today, okay? 
So we all know base position. So we're going to get into our base position. Okay, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to shift my weight to my left leg and I'm going to come off of my right just a little bit. All you're going to do is you're just going to switch to the other side. Okay, now I want you to be nice and safe here. Okay, so if you feel like your balance is a little compromised, you don't have to jump way over and you don't have to go really high. It's more about just shifting your weight. Okay, you can even do it without even leaving the ground if you want just shifting your weight back and forth. Okay, we're gonna do about five shifts and then start back in that base position. Okay, it doesn't have to be fast. We wanna be nice and controlled. Own each position. So we're up into our toes, drop into that base position, shift your weight to your left leg and go back and forth, back and forth. Here's two, three, four, five, back and relax, good. So this next one, now that you kind of have that understood, we're gonna go a little faster, but again, stay safe. Okay, up on our toes is our first single leg thing we've done like this, so just be careful, drop into that base position, switch to that left leg, get in position, and go back and forth. Here we go, one, two, three, four, five, and relax. I did an extra, no big deal. Okay, we got one more. Okay, this time, we're gonna start on our right leg. We're gonna go left, right. So if you notice, I pause a little bit when we get back to that first position, just so that I make sure that I'm nice and stable. So that's why we're switching sides for this one, just to give it some love too. Up on our toes, base position, shift your weight to the right, and go out and back, pause for just a second, out and back, good, out and back, good, out and back. Here's four and five, beautiful, nice work. Now you can say that you're like Apollo Ono and you can bounce back and forth, leg to leg. He's just a little stronger than me, just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna get started into our flow. So what we're gonna do today, I'm gonna go a little wider than shoulder width, okay? We're gonna just go into a regular squat. We're just a little wider, okay? So toes pointed forward, using those hands as balance. I'm gonna to reach to the front of the room. So squatting down, nice and deep, get as low as you can. You're gonna feel a little extra stretch in your groin, okay? It's because we're in a wide position. Your hips might block you so you can't get that low. That's fine. Go where you can, and we're just holding. All right, now I'm gonna switch to the side. Okay, you guys are fine how you are. Now we're gonna go hand walk, dropping our hands to the floor, hand walking out into our plank position, and then we're gonna go down into a pillar bridge, so onto our elbows. Nice strong plank here. This is where your toes will come onto your sliders or whatever you can slide with your feet. And all you're gonna do is body saw out and back once, which is just sliding yourself back as far as you can, and then dragging yourself back forward, okay? If you don't have sliders, you can do the same thing by just walking your feet back and then walking your feet forward. It's just challenging our core a little, okay? So do your one body saw. Once you're done with your body saw, we're gonna push up into push-up position. So High plank, do our nice slow push up, three seconds down, three, two, one, press back up. And then we're gonna let ourselves down nice and slow again, and then lay out into our Superman position. Okay, remember this first one is just kind of talking it through, figuring out the movements. The next round will go a little faster. Okay, this time, laying out, hands go to your sides. Okay, nice and wide into a T position. We're on our belly, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up. We're gonna leave our toes attached to the ground. We're gonna lift up with our posterior chain and our back, and then I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together. At that top position, I'm gonna release about an inch, and then back up, inch, back up. We got five of those. 
little Superman pulses, little wings, whatever you want to call them. We got one more at that top. Squeeze it nice and tight. And relax down. Good. All right. Roll onto your back. Another core one to do. So this time we're going our toe touches. So we're going to put both feet into the air. Reach behind my head. Reach for my toes. And down. And up. And down. And up. And down. Got one more. And up. And down. Good. Stretch back out. Nice and long. Now what we're going to do, last part of this round, is just a roll up to our feet. So all you're going to do, trying to keep your feet attached to the ground, you're going to just slowly bring yourself up one vertebrae at a time, just creating a curl all the way up. Try to keep those feet attached to the ground, using your core to sit onto your glutes. Sit up nice and straight and then work your way to your feet, okay? All right, now you know the wide base position, okay, Cook for the deep squat, and then we're gonna do our hand walks and go through this. We're gonna go two more rounds of this and then finish with our stretching stuff at the end, okay? So this one is a little more strength-based, right? It's a flow, but it's definitely a little more strength than what we do on Tuesdays, just ramping it up a little bit, okay? So wide base. Deep squat down, use those hands as counterbalance. Get nice and low. Hand walk out, get ready for that body saw. So hand walk out. Okay, feet on the sliders, get into the pillar bridge, down on our elbows, sliding back. Forward, take your feet off those sliders. Press up, push up position. Down, three, two, one, press up. Let yourself down nice and slow, one more. Out into that Superman position, that flying T. Deep breath, flex up. Bring those arms, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Down, up, down, up. Down, up, down, up, down, up. Got one more, down, and up. Good, rolling over to our backs. Toes go up to the air. You got four of these. Tap the floor behind your head, reach up. One, tap, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, and relax yourself down. Glue your heels to the floor. Got your roll up. Nice deep breath. Keep your core tight. And we're gonna come up nice and slow. The goal is to be able to stop at any point in that roll up and be able to hold it. So we, the slower we go, the better. All right, here we go, back up to our feet. We got one more round and then we're in our cool down. So deep squat position. Here we go, down nice and low, hands go out. All right, hand walk out. Plank position, feet on your sliders, down into our pillar bridge. All right, sliding back, pulling forward, feet off of the sliders, back up into our plank, down three, two, one, press up. And one more nice and slow on the way down. 
open up into that super T. All right, glue those toes, bring it up, squeeze those shoulder blades, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, and down, and up. And relax, nice, rolling over onto our back. All right, toe touch position, feet go up, tap the floor, bring it up, down, one, up, down, two, up, down, three, up, down, four, and extend out. We have one roll up, and then we're gonna roll down together. Okay, so we're gonna roll up on your own, and then once I'm up, I'm gonna do our countdown lay back, and we'll start our cool down. Okay, so go ahead and start rolling up if you haven't already. Coming up nice and slow. All right, I'm up. So now, with me, I want you to come down as slowly as you can. Hold as long as you can. Try to match my pace. If you're a little slower than me, that's amazing. Let me know. If you're not, we're keeping working on it, so don't worry about it, okay? Do what you can. Here we go. Back for three, two, that's the slowest three count ever. One, pause. Woo! He didn't tell me there's a pause in it. Down three, two, one, and relax. Nice. How'd you do? Hopefully you did good. Okay, we've been working on a lot of core stuff, so hopefully it's paying off. All right, going into our cool down point, we're going to roll over into a pigeon position. I'm gonna face you, so I'm actually gonna slide my mat forward so I have my knee on the mat. But what we're gonna do, pigeon position. So I'm gonna come into a pigeon position, okay? So I want figure four in the front. I want my back leg out as straight as I can, trying to get my hip towards the ground, okay? And then what we're gonna do to start is we're just gonna relax forward, okay? You don't need to see my hands. <laughs> I'll slide back a little. You don't need to see my hands, but all I'm gonna do, we're laying straight over our shin for this first part. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to rotate towards that front knee. Okay, so I'm gonna walk my hands towards that front knee. But right now I'm just down on my elbows. All right, go ahead and start walking about three, steps over with your arms. I'm now matching the same angle as my knee or trying to. Now you should be feeling stretch in places that you didn't know could stretch and that's perfect. Unless you do yoga all the time, this one will be a little tight. It's not a very natural position even though this is kind of that running form position. Try to relax into it a little. Now go back to center. So back to that starting position. If you need to, you can come up, that's fine. Just make sure you're driving your hip towards the floor. Okay, we don't want our hip way high. You don't wanna be rounding off. You wanna be nice and big, okay? So even when I'm down here, I'm still making myself long as possible. Okay, I'm not crunched up. All right, walk towards that knee one more time. You're gonna feel these stretches on Thursday. Your hips might be a little sore still, that's okay. And back to center, and then we're gonna switch legs, okay? Nothing fancy here, just switching sides. Okay, so however you got into your first pigeon, 
This one might be a little tighter. In my case, it is. You can see that my leg goes back further instead of out because this hip is really tight. So I can adjust it a little, but I'm only going to do what I can for today. Okay. Again, we're not trying to hurt anything. We're just trying to get loose by working on it. Okay. So I'm going back into that low position. Walking it over towards that knee, getting myself lined up with that knee. Stretching makes you sweat like doing the fitness part. It's crazy. So Thursday, we're going to do a little more cardio like what we did last week, which is good. We could all use it. Okay, walking back to center. So be prepared. We're going to be doing some more of the strength obviously, but we're also going to do a little of that circuit like we did last time. So a little more cardio involved, but we know that's coming. We're up in the ante a little bit. It's summer. All right, walking over, get that stretch again. So we're going to skip our 444 breathing today to finish things off. This stretch session is kind of your deep breathing practice. So I want you making sure that you're getting your good breaths in. Then the last stretch is when we're going to go through and kind of do our quotes and everything like that. All right, back to center. And go ahead and come up. All right, shin box position. Okay, so those of you, if you're new, shin box, figure four, I'm going back to my left leg being in that figure four position, and then my right leg, now my foot is pointed back, but I'm still in that figure four, it's just now pointing back. So you're in kind of that crisscross shape, okay? So now, if you can, hands off. If you need to, you can support yourself, okay? But what we're gonna do, we're gonna do our shin box lift, so I'm gonna to try to lift this right leg, trying to lift my foot off the ground like so, okay? Without changing your upper body position too much. And again, I'm gonna put my hand down because I don't have the flexibility in this hip. So I'm gonna put my hand down to help myself get that foot off. And as you can see, it's barely off, but it is off just a tiny bit. And we're just gonna hold three, two, one, relax it down. Now we're gonna lift the front knee off as far as we can and hold. Two, one, down, switch, lift the back off. Three, two, one, lift the front off. Three, two, one, and switch sides. So now for the switch, I am gonna take my hands off. I'm going to switch, glue those feet to the floor, switch to the other side. Beautiful. You can still see my back ankle. Okay. Here we go. We're going to lift that off. Up. Three, two, one. Good. Lift the front off. Three, two, one. Good. Lift the back off. Three, two, one, and lift the front off. Three, two, and one. Nice work. All right, this last one is something quite depressing for me because, again, super tight in the hips, but I've watched my kids now who can do this, and they're full on flat to the floor. Same with my wife who used to be a dancer. It's frustrating for a guy that's so tight in his hips that my knees aren't even close, okay? So just find a comfortable spot here. Basically, we're just feet together, just trying to let your knees naturally fall with gravity. If you're super strong, you can use your elbows to push yourself down if you need more strength or more uh, push there, if gravity's not doing it for you, but it's doing it for me, okay? So what we're gonna do, I just want you to close your eyes, take some nice deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. I'm going to read you the quote, which I should have grabbed before getting into position. Okay? Just try to find a nice relaxing place. 
couple of deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Here's our quote for today. Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, if you walk, sorry. I, I have a hard time reading when I'm stretching. Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or work around it. Michael Jordan. We all know that he didn't get picked, and he didn't let that stop him. He worked harder. He's still one of the best basketball players of all time. So just like that, if you run into an obstacle you think is overcome, you can't overcome it, remember that as long as you have the right mindset, we can achieve anything. And to go off of that, finishing up, when is a joke become a dad joke? When the punchline is apparent. Oh, so funny. I also have that link for you guys if you want it for the snack of the day, if you want to find more on it. You can always just Google it or ask Siri or whoever uh, for a mini quiche recipe. They're all over. There's all kinds of them. There's healthy, healthy ones with kale and all that good stuff. So you can pretty much throw anything into it. But as always, thanks for coming to hang out today. You can relax out of that stretch. Come on up to your feet, whatever you need to do to end the day. Thanks for coming and hanging out with me. I hope the weather gets nicer. I'm ready to go out and enjoy some sunshine. I'm sure you are too. Thanks as always. If you need to chat, let me know. You can find me online. Just let me know. I'd love to chat anytime. I'll talk to you guys soon. See you Thursday.